Hello, 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 my love bugs. Once again, it's your girl Lumi Love here with another message from the divine. As I always say, today if you're hearing my voice, I ask that you harden not your heart, for I am just a messenger and we are all here to witness and learn. Thank you guys for your likes, subscribe, shares, views, and memberships. Everything is greatly appreciated, my loves. So let's go ahead and get into the message, okay? I'm going to tell you what I already heard. It was soon as I started shuffling the cards. I heard that, um, what is that? You down with OPP? Yeah, you know me. You down with OPP? Okay, say somebody not down with OPP no more. Somebody likes to sleep around with other people's uh partners, maybe. You know, be sneaky. Somebody likes the thrill, okay? The hunt. That's what this person likes the most. Oh, my gosh. Okay, and this person <laughs> feels like they not down with OPP no more. Uh, Maybe they want to give up all their hoes and they want to come back to you. Maybe that's what they want to tell you, okay, so that you can make some plans with them for the future. But this person has plans to go in the opposite direction, okay? You see this uh symbol right here is pointing that way and this mask is looking this way. He wants to distract you and keep you busy. Maybe while he keep people, other people in the background. But I'm getting from this candle right here with this angel over here. You have angels watching you and uh spirit guides leading you and they don't allow games like that they don't care how much this man has how much he's trying to show because this is a wealthy man possibly this could possibly be a wealthy man or a man that's you know up on his money right now and he wants to come towards you he wants to um you to unrestrict yourself okay this person wants you to chill this person wants you to lounge with them this person wants you to open up this person really wants to get you know down to the details about you this person really wants to take their time to try to uh i'm hearing what's that word coat is it is it coat Listen, this person's trying to sugarcoat some shit because they aren't, okay? This person's a liar. This person's jealous of you, and this person wants to defeat you, okay? They are a backstabber, and they plan on backstabbing your ass multiple times, whether it's with other feminines, uh, money situations, uh, just anything. This person plans on backstabbing you. That's what they want to do. They want to push forward to come towards you, but they want to backstab you. That's the only point, okay? Their whole thing uh, is them right now trying to calculate some sort of plan to uh, get you outcast so that people can disregard you by telling some sort of lie, okay? I don't know what kind of lie this person wants to tell but they're trying to scheme up on something some sort of betrayal and deception okay so maybe that's why this person wants to try to like open you up and make you know feel very vulnerable and maybe do some things and then expose you for those things try to find out some secrets maybe this person feels like you could be doing some sort of witchcraft i'm hearing um for money because at some point they had you meeting challenges um they were messing with your security and your wealth possibly like this person that want to come back and talk to you was possibly doing all of this and now they're meeting challenges in this area so they kind of want to get up under you and see what you got going on so you got somebody who's trying to come back around and just be nosy this person would like to lay with you, but I'm hearing if they can't lay with you, then they'll play with you, meaning that they just want to play under you, be your friend, you know, some weird ass shit. So this could be an ex or somebody from the past who tried to betray you, like I said, from your security and money, and they want to do it again because now they're suffering from their security and money. All right, this person's upset that uh, you walked away from them. It's like they need clarity on a certain situation. This person feels like you deceived them by walking away. You betrayed them, so they got to get you back. Okay, so what? This person thinks that after they tried to betray you and it didn't work, you betrayed them because you walked away. So now it's validated that they need to betray you and they feel like they knew it all along. This motherfucker's delusional. Delulu. This mug is Delulu. Okay. <laughs> Yes, very much the Lulu. Upset because you're clever. Maybe you knew something that this person was going to plan to try to do to you and you got out of the way before they could do it. So now it's war. Okay, I'm hearing this means war. The fact that you escaped whatever plan and plot that they had been diligently putting together. Okay, so this person could have been taking their time trying to put this get together or this person was doing this overtime. What's going on with this third party energy? Why this person is determined to keep you in the third party? Maybe they feel like they can mess up your confidence that way. They also want their... Okay, so this, this person's down with OPP. This person wanted... I don't know. It's like maybe this person was supposed to be with you at one point and, you know, they was down with OPP. They was down with sleeping in their body. So that's how they got kicked out of your energy. And now this person's jealous because they got kicked out and you don't want to talk to them no more. And you're moving fast, very quickly past their ass. And they feel like uh, they're ready to defeat you and humiliate you, right? So this person got a feminine on the side or a feminine that's waiting. So this feminine I'm getting is supposed to siphon your energy from this masculine. I mean, he put in a lot of different plans. So let me just run a couple down. All right, this feminine was supposed to come and be on the sideline and shut up and be a side bitch. And then he was going to put you in the main spot. Okay, boom. She was supposed to be the main one in the main spot. But in order for them to have success, she he told, dang, she told him, 
Okay, so she might have boosted his head up and told him, yeah, you know, I'll wait over here on the side for you or whatever. Don't worry about it. I don't want to leave you. Yeah, this is weird, okay? Uh, this woman didn't want to leave this masculine because she knew that he was going to come back towards you. She just wanted to move to the side so he could third party you and she could get your energy. That's how she felt on the low, okay? So this masculine knew that. He knew that that was one of her, like, insecurities. That's why he played off of that. So he decided to, you know, go along with her plan and make her think she was the one running the plan. But really, he was the one that was running the plan and he was trying to run over there and run a plan on you and he somehow convinced her to let him do so and he was going to move her to the side come over there to you and put you in the number one spot coat you you know what i'm saying give you everything act like everything all good blah jay squad jay and then uh collect information on maybe how you did things to go back and share with her so that they both can do it and they could you know do things in your energy like literally listen to certain words and phrases that you say and start to speak and walk in your energy in order for them to have success i guess that's why they had success in the beginning was this not yeah because he can no longer tap into your energy maybe you gave him a try uh maybe he was you know working with you some sort of way he was connected how was this masculine connected because he really want to put this girl to the side come over there with you like i say steal your energy but then embarrass you maybe with some we'll see how he wanted to embarrass you i keep getting tape okay i gotta speak on it i keep getting tape he wanted to embarrass you with some sort of tape or some sort of information to gain money he wanted to uh use something against you maybe a private situation or an intimate moment against you yeah this person wanted to use an intimate moment against you to get money though that's it this woman gotta be some sort of prostitute bro she's supposed to come in and fight you Thank you for not helping me forget that Holy Spirit. These people are determined to put you in a karmic bullshit. So he was supposed to do all that, get to you, and then she was supposed to sneak you. She claimed she was supposed to fight you because you're causing all kind of problems for her. These can legit be some married people, dog, and these people have been... These legit some married people, and this woman been trying to work behind this man back and or work with this man okay they've been trying to get some money from the courts to get some money from you so i'm hearing long-term money maybe have you to have to pay some payments to them for some sort of way because this woman i ain't gonna lie trying to say in court that it's you are harassing her and her husband her and her man you're a side bitch and you're harassed this is how they want to humiliate you they want to make you seem like a side bitch for all people to see on paperwork they want to make it seem like you're trying to get in between a marriage and you're stalking and you're doing this and you're doing that in order for them to make this true then since she been going down to the courthouse talking shit about you to them folks telling them all that and he over here trying to do love magic on you to bring you in okay bring your energy in this woman had told him you didn't even bullied her so bad she didn't lost she had a miscarriage yes she did she told them that maybe if she had a miscarriage, boy, what I say? She told them that she had a miscarriage, and when she had that miscarriage, it was your fault. She thought that that could be some validating information, okay? I heard that did not work, project failure, that did not work, trying to lie and say you were stalking and you were breaking up the family, okay? No, I think they had got some phone records of this masculine, possibly. Yeah, they ended up getting some phone records or they will end up getting some sort of phone records or some sort of evidence that this masculine is the one that's talking you and he has a family kind of like a lot of different places. Like I said, he's down with OPP. So this masculine may have outside children that think, whew, I'm hearing if this one might have an outside child and this outside child, he either called nephew or he played God daddy, but he the real daddy. He be around here sleeping with other people, folks. I'm telling you. And he be... All right, anyway, him and that lady left out in the cold, or he lead these children and his baby mama's out in the cold. That's what he do, move on to the next. All right, now he don't want to take this opportunity, maybe from this feminine, and he leaving her behind because he can't get his way with you. So now she's trying to do this. Is she trying to do all this core stuff behind this mask in his back, yes or no? Okay, for some, I heard it. Like, for some of y'all, she's doing it because she's selfish, and she's doing it behind his back because he's been neglecting her and her child. Um, if she even had a child, uh, or she, that's what she's telling the court too. That's how she hung herself up saying that she's stressed out. That's why she lost the child because he's neglecting her and the child to come over there and play family with you. And that didn't work in the court because it just was like, I ain't got shit to do with that. <laughs> uh, that's like a personal, okay, not like that, but basically that's like a personal thing. Like, yes, you know, you get pain and suffering, but that's not going to count in the courts. There's no way to prove it. I'm getting, they got some phone records that this man been stalking you. You ain't been stalking, you ain't been, yeah, stalking him. I guess they was trying to say you was stalking him. Uh, you ain't been stalking him. This man been stalking you, so it's kind of proof that this man's been out here stalking you. And maybe now the court's recognizing that these people wanted to cause endings for you. 
to make their family life stable. So now you're going to receive a message about how these people got, you know, hung themselves up. You may be getting like a, a message from the court or whatever. It's going to bring you some success. Ooh, wee. All your wishes are going to come true because people in the court are recognizing, you know, you are who you, who, you aren't who they said you were. You are an upstanding person. I'm getting, I'm supposed to do these cards first. And she's upset because she knows that it's, I'm hearing some obstruction of justice. So she has to pay. Maybe I'm hearing restitution now. Okay, so this woman has to pay you restitution for some obstruction of justice. You'll be receiving a message, a subpoena or something over this. And all your wishes are going to come true uh, materialistically because this woman and this man were doing things to gain money off you some sort of way. Or maybe dragging you through family court or trying to drag you through family court, trying to say your family isn't stable. Maybe trying to take money from you. Maybe trying to take a child from you or he wanted to get you in a relationship okay he okay for some of y'all he wanted to okay for some of y'all he wanted to get you in a relationship because you're having a lot of emphasis on security with this money so this man maybe found out that this woman was lying or maybe he was in the plan with her and she was lying i'm getting like it could be either or so for some of y'all this woman was a part this was like a part of this mat this man's whole master plan of getting this woman to go say this behind your back and then calling you in so they can trap you and then get money off of you okay um also i'm hearing baby trap you he could have wanted to you know get you a baby in both of these situations he could have wanted to get you pregnant so that eventually he can get child support um he was going to take the baby and eventually get child support because if he was sleeping with you on the side and y'all had a baby then he was gonna say you was a side bitch and mistress and then take the baby from you and him and his wife was gonna have a baby and they was gonna profit money out of the situation yeah they had a lot of different plans like i said for this money a lot of different people in si different situations but these people were targeting you trying to change your fate this woman was jealous of you and this man wanted to reconcile with you because you could possibly heal him this person could be sick yeah and this person could be sick and they need your both of them could be sick and they need your energy to survive that's weird these people could have also been taking sexual energy from you okay so if this is a baby daddy situation um and you already have a child with this person him and his old lady was just picking up on your energy some sort of way i am hearing he could have possibly recorded an intimate moment of you guys and they could watch it and they could have been uh do doing it to it and uh yeah, they were just trying to manifest your energy sexually. They could have done this in front of a group of people to this video of this intimate moment. A lot of people know who you are, whether you know it or not. Sheesh. Uh, and a lot of people want to come towards you. Yeah, a lot of people want to come towards you. They wanted you in a victim mentality, feeling ostracized, uh, having a lot of anxiety, being mentally imprisoned. But you're coming out a very strong character, creative person, independent, organized, and articulate. A lot of people see that. So it could have been a lot of people who he had looking at this video now sees you for who you really are. And they kind of want to come talk to you, even though they still have some sort of incubus and succubus spirits. It could be feminines and masculines that want to come in and date you, child. Oh, my God. Okay. Everybody wants some of your energy. And this person's mentally trapped because he was just supposed to use you like a whore and dispose of you. If this is a baby daddy situation. Okay. If this is not, and this is some masculine that wanted to come in, maybe somebody from your past that now wants to come in and get you pregnant and have a situation with you outside of a marriage that he is in. Um, this person most definitely was trying to set you up I don't know. They were pulling on your energy sexually to also pull on your confidence, your sacral energy, and your solar plexus. They didn't want your self-esteem popping. They didn't want you creating nothing. They wanted you feeling, yeah, in this victim mentality and feeling powerless. So that way he could dominate you in that way and continue to feed off of your energy with this feminine. But it's like this person has an ulterior motive to try to come in and say that he's innocent and uh, maybe... You know, he's never tried to do anything towards you. He wants to come in and help you out, give you some money. This is the baby daddy situation. Um, He wants to come. Okay, I'm hearing this could be an ex as well. He wants to come in and give you some financial help or something. Uh, Just being nice. Maybe if he doesn't want to outright say he wants to give you financial help. Because a lot of these, a lot of people in situations, he the one who need a lot of financial help. So he ain't got enough money but to take your ass out to dinner and try to woo you for a night, honey. And that's what he plan on doing. He want to come in and woo you for a night so he can get some cootie mama. Meanwhile, his woman be in the background doing some love spell, some sort of magic or whatever. But he's he's knowing that you will pick up on this. He's just wishing that you would forgive him. Um, That way you'll be more inclined to work with him. 
okay he's also upset that you're working with someone else who is on your level he feels ostracized and uh in a victim mentality now because you have a professional man that you're around a man of action who's very fair and um logical uh and this person's are getting ready to come bring you an offer because they think you fine and they want to come make you their wife because you're the smart one. You're the one that uses your intuition and your hard work and then you're a go-getter. And that's what has these other people upset because they wanted to change your fate. They didn't want people looking at you. They didn't want you confident. So that's why him and this girl were sleeping together to come siphon some of your energy with her stinking ass. Y'all, I'm saying stinking because that's what I heard. Her stinking ass. So her butt. All right. I ain't gonna say her butt. But her whole, um, her, she, her personal hygiene sucks. Her personal hygiene sucks because this masking and going around sleeping with everybody and now her cootie mama is just as messed up as his Peter man is. Jesus Louise, yeah. And the only reason he got with this feminine in the first place or the only reason this feminine stuck around is because this masculine still was holding on to your energy. So like I said, he could have been watching that tape by himself and then he could have went and got somebody who was kind of freak nasty. She was like, yeah, turn on the tape. We can watch the tape together while we do it. And the tape, whether she knew it or not, the tape was you and him. Jesus Christ, he got off on control of this situation. He got off on that. Gee, and then she she got more jealous than attached. She started trying to spy and see if he was sleeping with you on the slide because y'all, this is crazy. She spied on this man in his dreams. She was they he finished sleeping with her and she spied on him in the dreams and figured out that he was trying to manifest you while he was sleeping with her. And that's when she got in on the plan because I mean I'm hearing she only had one way out. Like this woman like I said, she probably could, possibly could have been a prostitute on the low and was trying to use your energy that she was siphoning away from him to pretend to be a, a divine person. She was a karmic. He got stuck with a karmic. A karmic with a karmic. You know, I ain't mad at that, but he was still trying to pull on your energy and come back in towards you and uh, it uh, inspired her to learn some new sort of skill, okay? To try to try to get some hidden. Okay, that's what I'm saying. She she dipped in this man's dreams and was spying on him and saw that he was desiring to come back to you for your energy for this and for that. So she decided to maybe try to, to try to take control of the situation. All right, I'm thinking this masculine is heartbroken because he think he can't break away from this feminine. Um, He really wants to break away with this feminine. Not saying he just want to partner up with you, but he just want to get your energy and then go get another bitch. Yeah, that's what he said. He said he wants to get in your energy and go get another bitch so he can juggle her. And, you know, he can just keep on moving, but he needs your energy because you're like a battery source, okay? And he also feel like it's real fucked up you holding yourself back. So that's why I said this could have been an ex or a baby daddy situation because this person feels like they should have access to you. This person's entitled and they feel like they should have access to you, okay? And that's not going to happen. You got a victory going on somewhere else with an emperor energy, okay? Somebody who's really in this uh, 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 leadership position, okay? Because you did come out this empress, honey so yeah you and this masculine are going to reconcile you and this uh emperor are going to reconcile and this man over here he don't know what to do maybe he tried to spiritually attack both you guys to make your emotions go up and down but it's not working okay this man's a manly man he's gonna come okay when i say this man's a manly man this other masculine possibly may go both ways for some of y'all um or he's his 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 energy is like unbalanced so his feminine energy and his masculine energy inside of himself is not in balance he's not in tune so he doesn't really know what to do or whatever he's financially juggling so that's really hitting his ego but he's upset that this masculine is coming towards you got that bag and he know this is another wealthy man okay so maybe this one pretends to be a wealthy man and this one really is a wealthy man and he wants to come towards you and he thought that he was going to hold you back by maybe um i'm hearing rocking your world or causing some sort of destruction or catastrophe okay when i say rocking the world yes he wanted to get it down with you um but some of y'all he kind of wanted to literally maybe burn your house down what is that something about burn your house down i don't know i don't know somebody wanted to burn something down i'm gonna just keep it real specific and not even try to figure out what song that was that came to mind somebody literally tried to want to burn your house down maybe attack you maybe see both of y'all together and then pull up on you and start some shit maybe okay cheat with you on the side keep his mouth closed and as soon as you get with your other masculine or while you with your other masculine cheat on the side with you and then have his bitch come start some shit uh, it's weird like this person is obsessing more over the fact that you don't care about them you're not paying attention to them and you got money and you got fame oh ooh, wow fame okay you're gonna have fame with someone else and that's really what they're focused on so they want to try to mess that up for you because you don't want to allow them in you don't want to let them be a third party you don't want to cheat on cheat with them on the side you want to move past them he like how the fuck dare you got you don't nobody move past me don't nobody get over me why you ain't waiting where i told you to wait okay this is how this person feels 
He feel like he got a lot of people on the stroll and he was supposed to dominate you and get victory over you, but you're in a high vibration. This person can't even touch you with that karmic dominating bullshit he call himself having going on, okay? You got spirits that protect you. Holy Spirit ain't having that. You're in a phase of manifesting what you worked hard for in your life and you're going to get every dime, penny, all of it, every dime and penny, okay? Yeah, damn shit. With the, with the coins in your hand, every dime and penny. Okay, and the Nine of Pentacles right here with the Ace of Swords and this Queen of Pentacles on top, honey. Yeah, you're going to be someone's wife in a Ten of Pentacles situation. This, this other masculine that's come around, this Emperor, he's most definitely going to make you his wife. Okay, you are going to be a loving mother if you're already a mother and this was a baby daddy situation. He's going to take uh, responsibility for your child as his own and show her how a masculine is supposed to treat a feminine show her how somebody is supposed to treat their mother okay and that's going to have victory and success for her and her future that's another reason why this person want to come in and fuck some shit up because you're going to be able to build an entire that you're going to be a matriarch in your family you're going to lead an entire tribe okay a whole new tribe maybe you broke all the restraints of all the old bullshit from your other families and now you're going to start your own new tribe elsewhere okay um you also may be Native American, have Native American blood in you, okay? Have the blood of Moses in you, all right? And these people just wanted to control you in secret. This person's hating on you. Um, and he really doesn't want you to have children with this person. He really doesn't want his child to see how a masculine is supposed to treat his mom, uh, his or her mom because um, it'll teach them how to elevate themselves in life and they won't pick up on the same karmic bullshit that this person is trapped in i'm hearing entrapment okay with some sort of decoy some sort of temptation king of cups you're gonna have victory with this king of cups and get a brand new start be able to live fancy and uh free and have fulfillment but what's up this person doesn't understand why none of their illusions are working against you. Yeah, like I said, they want your attention. They can't get your attention. And they freaking out about it. All right, y'all. This is it. This is all my loves. I hope you got what you needed from this reading. I'm going to go ahead and close it out and get into another one. So meet me in the next one.